Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. We're back. God what? darn it. With another video. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me go ahead and get this out the way here. Last week's episode had all of us on an emotional roller coaster, so much so yeah. that even up until yesterday, I'm still thinking about what happened last week. Yeah. That does not happen. I'm trying yeah. to tell you, I'm one of those people that things are happening to be like, it don't stay no longer with me than a bowel movement do. <laughs> boop, boop, it's gone. It's over with. Plus that the toilet. That's how I am. I, I told everybody, I said, my mentality is I'm like a dude in a whole lot of aspects. Do something to me, I'm over it. Moving on. But this episode right here? Oh yeah, I think that's glued on to a whole lot of people. <sighs> because it was real. It was too real. It's real, <laughs> man. It's what people are dealing with right now. That's why. And I appreciate y'all that got down in them comments, inbox and all that. Yeah. Y'all were telling us y'all business. And we we take it as an honor that you would trust us and everybody else is watching yeah. with that information. But I do have one thing that I want to say. I was thinking it, but somebody in the comments said it. And I'm trying to figure out what's what's going on with Vi. I'm going to connect the dots a little later. But, okay, didn't that mama say, I've been sending money to help you take yeah. care of Blue? In the absence of us being down here to be able to be connected with our daughter, I did make sure my grandson was fine every month. Hmm. Where that money at? Yeah. If daddy bought alone had a part-time job and basically killed himself. Yeah. Where that money? What if I don't... See, I'm starting to piss me off a little bit because she seemed like the keeper of secrets around here. Oh, she got a whole lot of freaking secrets. She and then when she get confronted about it, she catch her attitude. She ain't tell nobody about that land originally being her and Ernest land. Nope. They going around the Mayberry bush and she ain't, ain't never brought that up. Ain't, ain't tell the truth about Charlie's got doing mama, putting those lies and over them head. That this was an <laughs> evil woman and that she came along and took her brother where he didn't want to go. And now this here, where's the money at Aunt Vi? Yeah, where the money? All right, but we're going to go on into this one. But uh, but before we get in, uh -oh. last Friday night, man, man, we fixed some cheesesteak, man, and make you want to Who is we? Me and you. I mean, most of you. <laughs> but, you know, we was in the kitchen. And you see this cheesesteak right here? If you want to learn how to make that cheesecake right there. A what? That cheese, I said cheese cake, didn't I? This cheese steak sandwich right here. Head on down in the, in the link after in the panic section, like Nate Lee could say, and click the link and go to the vlog channel and learn how to make that right there. You did make the homemade fries though. Yeah, I made the fries. But he ain't do a tutorial on that because if y'all don't know how to make homemade fries by now, you just oh, get you. out of luck. You just cut them, you just cut them up the size you want and fry them. Well, you gotta soak them first. Oh, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't cost you no money. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the liberty bell. So when the videos come out, you'll be the first one to know. All right. On these I stand. This week didn't really give us too much, but I think it was needed after the the roller coaster we just came on. Yeah, off it was of. feeling it. Yeah, it was feeling in that. Because I don't know if I could have took. I'm trying to tell you, look at that doll of night. I'm trying to tell you, I take it so personal. Did I just want to trip the skin yeah. out of her? <laughs> yeah, Ava know to back up off of this time because you know we was going in on her. Her. I, I seen a girl at work that cut. looked kind of like Dolly. And you want to slap her? I didn't even did speak you? to her. She held the door for me. I didn't even speak to her. <laughs> I sure did. Wrong as I can be. But in my mind, like Mike B said, that was yeah, her. That was Dolly. And I was getting her back for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Ralph Angel. Ralph Angel though took his 4 150 and he was like, you know what? I'm, I'm out. Gone. I can't, oh, I can't God. do this right now. He couldn't even speak. You know, you don't piss somebody off. When they when can't he, even say nothing. They yeah. can't even. The song in when at church say, if I can't say a word, I just, just wave my hand. No, Ralph Angel, I just drive off of my pickup truck. So Dollar calling him on the phone. No, no, no. Let me, let me back up for a second oh, right there before you drive down that road right there. Ralph Angel did. She didn't look like she was sorry, not near a bit. What's that? Piece of your piece of hair. Mm -hmm. She didn't look like she was sorry not nail bit. She tried to put on the ultimate <laughs> motivational speech. Ron, I don't want you to be mad at me. Can we please talk about it? 
Stop. <laughs> Trying to well up some tears. Booski, you ain't even sorry about it. No, she just saw it because he left. Yeah, you saw it like, like they used to tell us in church. You ain't sorry so that you caught. had the sex. You just sorry that you got caught. You ain't convicted. You just sorry that you ain't got caught. <laughs> you get another chance, you will do it again. Uh -huh, now get down there and, and, and way over for <laughs> oh, <yeah>. the Lord. <laughs> so, we can, so the mothers can tear it with you. So she ain't sorry. She just want everything to go to, to stay as normal. No, you just rock that man's world to tell him that this boy ain't his. All them sacrifices. He, I ain't saying he been the perfect daddy. No. But he been a daddy. He been a daddy. He been there. So, um, she called him on the phone. I was really surprised that he even answered the phone for her. But oh, he answered he the mad, phone. He, was, he said. And he just breathed in the phone. And I was like, if you're going to do all that, just ignore. Ignoring her actually hurts worse than answering the phone and just breathing. No, I think that breathing hurts you worse when you answer the phone. Hell no. I think that hurts the worst. No. Ignore she can't, Because she said, I want you, please say something. Say something. Be mad at me. Cuss me out. Do something. They're going to motivational speech again. Make it all about you. Because you want to feel better. Don't I want you to feel better? I want you to come home. No. He said, what home? Yeah, and that she was like, Ooh. I said, mm. I, I said, I still don't see no tears. That bull skit is dry. That. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did all the mama come from, y'all? Yeah, I thought, they I thought she was home. gone. I Cause, guess we assumed they went back home. Cause, cause the, I ain't seen the daddy. Did oh, he just drop them off, daddy? Oh, he over to hide in. <laughs> he said, I ain't staying no. out here. And this guy do a shack of a house of joke <laughs> So we see Dollar Dollar went to go pick up Blue from school. I didn't know she had a car. Yeah, anyway, I didn't know when did that happen? Yeah. But she went to pick Blue up from school, and he was like, "I thought Pop was gonna pick me up from school." Dollar's like, "Nope, something else came up." And Blue really hasn't asked anything about it since. He's just been kind of asking when Daddy gonna come home, mm -hmm. but he he hasn't caught on to it yet. Yeah. So Dollar's mama was telling her, Dollar said, "Listen, you gonna have to get that man some time." That's right. You just hit him with a heavy one, two, three. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to give him, because he's a good dude. I can tell. I can look at his eyes and can tell that he loves you. He loves blue. you just going to have to wait this thing out. But in the meantime, in the between time, if you need to go ahead and take a break from the situation until he figures out what he wants to do, you and Blue can come home with us. And we tell us the hell in the <laughs> Not Not no you and Blue. You can go, but Blue is she there. She can go. Yeah. I mean, she can go, but Blue is standing right there in New Orleans. L like, um, like, um, I like turn something up. The yeah. name stays home. Now, you, you know, y'all can come and get him for a week when he get out of school no. on summer break. No. I'll give, give you that. Nope, nope. But to go live there and get to school, no, no Blue skit. Mm -mm. Supervised visits. Mm -mm. If you can't fly me out, he ain't going neither. Yeah. So the mama said, let me go ahead and while we in confessional mode and while we, um, you know, talking about all our dirt and all of this, let me go ahead and ask you this one question. When you went down to D.C., <laughs> everything happens in the DMV, I'm trying to tell you. Hey. Was it just one dude? Now, Dollar don't admit it to her mama. She don't even know. She don't even know how many dudes it was. She said, basically, I was so stoned out of my mind that I didn't know what was going on yep. until it was over. And I just really don't even know. It could have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dicks in my cooter cat. Hey, hey, hm. Mama said, you know what? I ain't even gonna judge you, cause uh, we all got demons. And I said, yeah. you right, mom. Yeah, you right about that. Yours might be one too, but hers about nine. Yeah. And she said, you know what? Let me go ahead and put this out here. She said, we came down here nine times looking I for you. I was like, what? Nine, nine times. She said, halfway houses, crack houses, hospitals, morgues. Oh, you name my. it. We went looking for you. And she said, listen, it got me so good that I even started back drinking. After 23 years, 23 years uh, of being sober. So, now the more, this now, real now, though, that's I, real. I mean, I, I got two two sides of that corn right there. All right. That I, can I speak to that right there? Yeah, you got the flow. Yeah. See, I understand, see. You and your beard. When, yeah. We good. <laughs> uh, I have people say it all the time. See, it really wasn't Dollar the one because of what she was going through that made her mama go back to drinking now for 23 years. Because when you don't want to do something, you're not going to do it. So I would say that she was absent 
abstinent. For, yeah, for 23 years. I always say that too. Yeah, you was absent for 23 years. There's a difference between so, being delivered and, and abstinent. Yeah, so she was absent <laughs> for 23 years. And that's the only way she know to deal with the stress. So she made a choice so she can't blame that on Dollar. That's like me saying... I can. No. No, 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 this, no this, 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 let's put it into real life terms. If you decide not to give me no cooch no more for six months and I decide that I'm going to go in the outside the house and get cooch, then I blame that on you? You can blame it on that Glock that's back there because I'm shooting you. That's what I'm trying to tell you right there. That was my choice. And I got a choice. Yeah. So my choice. So it was last. Now I understand that that might have been the tipping point for her to be able to to deal with her daughter yeah, on crack. Don't say that because you was because I did this nine times and that drove me to drinking. No, 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 no. That was your choice. It's still a choice, but it's that choice. is. It's almost like there's. But. I don't judge her for her choice because no. she made a decision based upon what she was. Yes. Yeah, so I can't be mad at you. Yeah. yeah. That's the that only was, thing that she was, knew. Was cult. But you never ever blame your choices on somebody else's actions. They don't fly. I'm going to let you have that. Yeah, you can do that. I agree. No, I, I do agree, that. but I still... Because it takes a responsibility. So, so the only right. reason why I'm going to be right is as long as you're doing right. right. I, I got you. Yeah, you got me. I'm, I'm going to let you have it. Y'all got me? Got me? Read me? Hey, raise your hand. So stop blaming other people for your bullshit. So we see Red. Red shows up with, I'm <clears> full <throat> of skit haircut. I told you, everybody that got their haircut is full of skit. Hey. And um, and people in my comment section, they admitted they had their haircut. And they said, yeah, you right, I'm full of skit. <laughs> <laughs> so Red shows up over at the house um, to see Nova. Hadn't seen Nova in a good little bit. Excited to see her. The first thing that Nova did was hand him a bag of stuff. And I'm like, okay, we back to dealing dope out the house, Nova. But... <laughs> No, when did she stop? Well, she didn't stop. <laughs> um, it's all the stuff that Dr. Dubois had gave her as gifts. And um, Red said, oh, this is the real deal right here. Yeah. He said, now I can get the man at the pawn shop to hold on to for about a week. So, you know, just to make sure that you really want to let go of something like this. She said, you know what? Nope. Go ahead and tell him to give me my coins for it. And I'll pick that money up when I come over to the spot tonight for the gathering. Yeah. You know, just tell him to run me my money. Some things I just got to go ahead and let loose. And I said, come on here, Nova. I don't <laughs> have I don't have time for you being Trudy right now. Yeah. I'm uh, I don't I don't know mm -hmm. what to say about Nova right now. She 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 I don't know. Do y'all know? <laughs> she just Nova. She just Nova. Nova being Nova. So Nova's out there, she's in her uh flower garden and she's doing and you know that kind of stuff that I ain't into. And this older lady came. Church, the church mom. Church mother came, came up. Came in there with her Moses state. And she said, listen here, Nova. I see you on the TV, child. You're doing a good job. Good work. But let me tell you, your good work don't got us. Uh, we don't um, secure the grant for the ninth. You know, and all this other stuff. She was giving her the logistics of all of that. And she said, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and sit on the board? So while we're making these decisions, you'll be there to put your input on what's going on. Nova said, you know what? Ain't not my style. Ain't my style. She said, I ain't actually wasn't your style. That's not it. <laughs> it ain't about your style. She said, sometimes you got to do what's right at the moment to get the job done. Yeah. And took her, turned her back, and she didn't walk off. She scooted home. Uh-huh. Like a boss. That's what them church ladies do to you. Yeah. They say something and they walk away and you can't say nothing because you feel disrespectful if you do. Yeah, they just drop something on your head and just walk out your way. Like, and just walk away. Like you crooked weed wearing <laughs> Get on my god throwing nerd with this. Being disrespectful like Mike B said. Yeah. So then later on Nova goes over there to the gathering where they was having <clears throat> these these older woke people and these newly woke people under the same roof. And when she came in the door, you had some admirers mm -hmm. and you had a few haters in the building. Yeah. One girl in particular was was doing this from the devil. Yeah, she was she was gritting on her from the time she walked in. Nova came over, greeted everybody, Red said, Hey, this is this, this, that, and the third, shook hands. This witch wouldn't shake Nova's hands. Mm. Turned around, looked at Nova, said, mm, where's your cameras at? 
Nova said, I don't have any camera. She said, oh, so I guess you're here to um, pitch us some, some alternative facts. facts to get us scared and all of this. And she was like, what are you talking about? She said, that little speech that you did that had all of us scared about Zika down in the ninth war, you knew that was full of skit. You got mamas taking off of work, ain't got no money now, to take their kids down there to get tested. And you knew this all was a crock of mess. Nova said, you know what? And I apologize for the fear that I instilled in people. But... I still stand on what I said. Yeah. This was a breeding ground for um, Zika. So the girl is going on and on and on about all this other stuff. And Nova says, so since you want to run down what you feel was a was a bust, let's go ahead and say um, I got some money coming to the knife board out of this little thing that I did. So uh -huh. homegirl was like, oh, so you'd rather put your hand out and, and basically throw away the, um, give the checks Instead of getting your hands dirty, either you're going to be of the community or you're going to be yeah. on the board. But you can't be both. Hold on, what? I was like, where did that come from? Nova been on the ground since day one. She just told you today she got a grant. Now, and she never told you she was going to be sitting on no board. So where did that come from? I don't know. But I can see that everything that Dr. Dubois tried to tell Nova is coming back at her in ways that she don't want them to come back. <laughs> and she's fighting against the process. Dr. Dubois did push her a little faster than she needed to go. I do admit that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he was trying to teach her that your power is in the boardroom. Your power mm -hmm. is when your face is out there, your voice is heard by mm -hmm. the masses, this, mm -hmm. that, and the third. As long as you're on the ground, your reach is here. But if you get yeah. where you need to get where you can expose some stuff, your reach is way out there. That's right. So now you got people, because your reach has been out there, now they're starting to hate. Starting yep. to clown a little bit. And Nova had to tell the girl, say, hey, you can go ahead with the same rebuttals that you had um, that was working 10, 15 years ago. Yep. But you have to realize that things have changed. I've changed. And if you want to still be stuck and attending these same house gatherings and trap houses, mm -hmm. then you do so. And I said, yep. okay, Nova, so what you going to do after you done read her for a right? Because what you're not going to do is still be doing the same thing. I say she can do both. Yeah, she you gonna, can do both. She's going to have to balance um, being in the boardroom because she need to be in both. Because she's fighting on both sides. You need to be on the ground and you need to be in the boardroom because she got, like you said, she got the power to Look, be able to do both. Our ex-president in chief, President Barack Obama, mm -hmm. was on the ground just as much as he was in the boardroom. That's right. And that's why he was effective in a lot of things that he did. There was a lot of things that he wasn't effective of. Let's just go ahead and keep it 100. But those things that you could tell he was passionate about, he yeah. succeeded in those things. And that's why we got Orange in Chief now trying to undo everything because it was for us. No, don't even worry about it. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. So then we got Micah. Micah's over at school. And I love that they bring in a whole lot of stuff that's recently Real, happened, recent happened yeah. into the light, which happened. Charlottesville is, what, 40 minutes from here? Yeah, something and like that. There's a place called Monument Avenue here in Richmond, which is like maybe 12 minutes from my house. Mm -hmm. And it's full of Confederate statues. Yeah. So that is another place where they started trying to take the statues down from mm -hmm. too. And it caused a riot Rockers. out here. You hear me? Yeah. So Mike is walking by this um, board that he sees every day not paying it any attention. So this day he just happened to pay attention mm -hmm. to the fact that they have a Confederate sword on display at his school mm -hmm. and he was like wait a minute what on these i stand what and michael asked one of his friends he said D do you see this and dude was like yeah you know there's some things about history we just can't change and i mean it is a part of history it is an artifact it is what it is and michael that thing ain't sitting well with michael yeah and i can't say because when you live in the South, and I've lived in the South my whole life, it's different. It's so different. And when you got people that come to the South, they're like, how the hell do you, you do. ever get comfortable with this? Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things that you've seen it so much that you're desensitized to the meaning of it until it's acted out. Yeah, then you did, but you still know what's going but on. But you know what's going on. You know on. what's going on, but, but like, um, her mama said, you can't let it put you in bondage. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't let it put you in bondage that you don't live because of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, especially like when we go down to where your mom live at, mm -hmm. there's nothing but Confederate flags being flown they out are there. in people's yards. Yeah, over their yeah. windows, I mean, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And it's not that we're used to it. 
but it is a part of what our normal day to day. Yeah. Um, and when people come to places like this, they're like, okay, I want to shoot me somebody real good. i am like, well, you'll be shooting a long time. Yeah. Because I mean, it, we are living in the history of this mess. Mm -hmm. Um, so Micah not being from the South, and now he's dropped in the middle of this bullshit. Yeah, it's like, what the he's hell is like, going on right here? He said, I don't see no, I see blood. I see hate. And it is. How in the world can we be proud of this right here? And you're not. Nah, you're not. But he, he's not used to it. And yeah. you should never be used to it. But it's almost like when you grow up in the hood. Mm -hmm. You ain't scared of guns no more. Nah. You desensitized to it. Somebody gets shot, you be like, oh man, Ray Ray got shot. They shot Ray besides you be like, oh, sh uh, oh shoot, man. He ain't make it. What time for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, because you do. Like we see homeless people all the time here. <clears throat> and you're so desensitized to it now. And it's and it's scary that the more you are that you see it. Yeah. It it's crazy to me because I, I'm, I saw it the other day and I was like, dang. Yep. I don't even feel that like I used to when I first moved here. So, Michael tells Kiki about it and Kiki was like, listen, you at a private school where money talks. You need to make some noise. Yeah, and basically, noise. basically what I got out of the conversation was she said, you make some noise, you're going to hear what's really in people's hearts. That's right. Because if that artifact is there, somebody's money put that there. That's right. And when you start making some noise, you'll know who the real owner is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, Michael. I bet you the Landry's. <laughs> it probably is. I bet you the Landry's put that in there. Yeah. So now we got Charlie. Charlie got, she got a mess on her hands. <laughs> Charlie probably be like, can I sell this meal real quick? Um, farmers are walking out on Charlie left, right, and center because you got two things going on here. A lot of the farmers don't own their land anymore. They lost their land. So yep. now they're leasing plots yep. of land to actually grow their cane on. So they're paying a lease on land and they're also paying to have their, sh their stuff grinded. Yeah. Well, if you doing business over there with, at the Queen Sugar Mill, I'm going to go ahead and void your, um, your lease on the land. So, Farmers yeah. can't do nothing if they don't have the lease on that land. Yep, got a hook, line, and sinker. So, Charlie, Charlie, some of some we can fight this. They are not able to do this, and the farmers was like, "Listen, I don't yeah. have time. My livelihood depends yeah, on this." Yeah, we can't take that risk. We can't take that kind of risk. So while y'all fighting, I'm gonna still have to go over here and grind with them. And, yeah, once y'all win, land, once you win, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> so Charlie has an idea. Fight a Landry with a Landry. Y'all know that. Fight a devil with a devil. So you know we got Martin Bennington that's been the mama first introduced them to each other, but he's kind of intrigued by um Charlie and I don't trust it. Um yeah, it's 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 still something to bite him though. So he comes over to the mill, they're talking, chatting it up, and he wants to have a tour of the mill, which I don't trust. Why uh, would you take somebody in the innermost working parts of your business? And gave him details about how he can save ten percent. On, on so he can take that. Yeah, he probably gonna go and take the information right on back to his cousin, the pissed off cat. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting here like, okay, whatever, Bennington. Well, Bennington is all up in Charlie's face, talking about some. You know what? Well, we can continue this conversation over dinner. Are you busy? She said, Oh no, no, no. I'm seeing somebody. He gonna have the nerve to say, Didn't you just get divorced? Yeah. You know, not not to judge, but it do seem a little bit too soon. He said, I'm speaking out of experience. Charlie said, you know what, if you want to have dinner and talk about business, then maybe I'll be up to it. And they ended there. Charlie goes home, and she got a liquor basket waiting for her. Expensive liquor. And and Remy came over and peeped game. He said, hold on, where that come from? She said, oh, it's just something from Martin. And she giggling and all of this. And I said, hold on, Charlie. Don't fall for the okie doke. Mm -hmm. He said, this ain't nothing. He said, do you see? He said, this is a expensive joke. He said, mm-mm, mm-mm. He said, Charlie, let me tell you something. He said, whatever you, game that you're playing, don't get burnt. He yeah. said, because I see you being careful. Remember that word? I yeah. said that word. Careful. Careful. He said, don't, don't, don't put your eggs all in one basket and have it got done. Have your eggshells all broken up and yolk on your face. Don't do this. And she was like, I know how to handle men. Yeah. Like, like, um, Bennett. And he said, listen. See, that talk right there is why I, I'm on shaky ground with it. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm with you too on this one, Remy. 
I, I don't trust this dude. Yeah. Didn't trust him from the jump. So, and maybe he'll, maybe he'll win me over. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he might be legit. Maybe he might help her to take down the, down his, uh, his cousin. Mm. So Hollywood came home a day early. Now we got Hollywood. He peeped that when Val walked into that house, she had a white bag. Mm -hmm. And white bags mean that there's a prescription medication That's in right. the bag. Well, when he Behind asked the counter Vi, prescription. We asked Vi what was in the bag. She said some vitamins, minerals, and yeah, you know. all that. He was like bull skip. So he waited just as good till she was occupied. He went into her pocketbook. He looked in there to try to see what the uh, medicine was. But she caught him. And she said, I know you yeah, didn't. didn't go through my stuff. He said, listen, we need to talk because I know that any other time it'll be a brown bag. That's yeah, a white bag. Yeah, over the medicine coming in a brown bag. What's going on? She said, sit down. I need to talk to you. He said, oh, hold on. I don't like the way you, I don't like, he said, I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> he had turned, <laughs> he had turned this color right here. <laughs> and I said, Hollywood, yeah, you're going to want to sit down for this one. And she basically sat him down and said, listen. I have lupus. He said, hold on. Ain't no cure for that. Yeah. Vi, don't you sit here and tell me that you gonna... She said, oh, no, 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 no. I ain't going nowhere. I'm She's, gonna fight this. I'm gonna fight it and I'm gonna live a good life. Good life. life. Good said, long life. I said, Vi, you better come on with the positive thoughts. That's right. And she said, you know, I'm gonna be okay. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do to be okay. And he said, you know what? We're gonna I'm fight, gonna fight this, this thing together. together. We're gonna be okay together. She said, mm-mm. No. What we're not going to do, I'm not going to put my burdens and have somebody else taking care of me. This ain't what we're going to do. And I said, Vi, you, you sound like me. Shut up. Because <laughs> I am that person. I don't like people to talk to so have to do anything for me. So he said, listen, because she brought up the ex-wife. She said, I will not do you like Leanne did you where you have to take care of her. And he, he said, said, hold on, he hold said, on. He said, this ain't the same. This ain't, this ain't the same right he here. He said, you ain't Leanne. And I show ain't Jimmy Dale. So what you're not going to do is put that situation on this situation right here. Yeah, they don't even matter different. right here. It don't matter in this right here. Uh-uh. He said, we're going to fight this together. And what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and we're going to figure out a way to tell these daggone kids. Yeah. And she said, no, no, no. We can't tell them. He said, we will tell, tell these kids. He said, because I'm sitting right here now and I'm sick and tired of what, <laughs> what secrets, secrets have done to this family. I see. Which, is, which is so goddamn true. He said, uh-uh, we're not going to keep, we're not going to do this here. He said, secrets have messed up a whole lot of families. Mm -hmm. You call yourself protecting, and you making things worse. And it's so much worse. So, she agreed that, okay, this is what it's going to do. Next thing we know, at one point, I guess Hollywood got that phone call, because you know, Hollywood is the rescuer of everybody. High and uh -huh. drunk. Didn't he get Doll out the crack house? Yeah, he got out there, yep. He and now... The out there. Ralph Angel went somewhere and got all towed up. Toe up. He couldn't uh, even walk. He coming. Uh, uh, and I thought in his drunkenness that he was going to blurt out that she told me blue ain't mine. But he didn't. Not nah. that I know of. They put his hind parts to bed. And I bicycle, stood in that day going, um, in that four years, she said, listen, God, I'm coming to you. Mm -hmm. Whatever this is. Take, take it, it back. I said, Lord, if it was only that easy. Yeah, it was only that easy. She said, take it back. And then you see clips of everybody in the family. And they're in, they're in prayer position. And I said, and even little Blue at the end was like, I said, yeah, take it he back. Said, he said, I got it. I, I got said, what it. you got? What you got? Because I need to know. But that was basically it, y'all. And if the, the, I'm tired, I'm going to be. The blessing and the curse of life is that adversity is what pushes the blessings into your life. That's yeah. the bad part about it. Uh, bad and good part. So I don't you, want to hear that. So you got to go through the valley to get to the mountaintop. I don't want to go through valleys. Can you I gotcha. take the escalator? But I, I, I can say this. It's easier said when you came out than you end. Oh yeah, but, but when you come out, you be like, it was. I was glad that I went through that because now I can appreciate being on top of the mm -hmm. mountain because I was in the valley. So in other words, I can appreciate having a little bit of change in my pocket because I've been broke. I can appreciate my good health and strength because I was sick last year. I wouldn't say it personally, but that's what that's what it does to you. Brings appreciation, and gratitude was. in your life. I wasn't sick last year. I was sick year before last, right yeah. before we started YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. 
But yeah. now you can appreciate your good health because you came out of that. I can appreciate having a straight back. I can yeah. appreciate getting out the bed in the but morning. Why, but why you crying. appreciate it? Because of all the pain that you went through. Man, I was in some kind of pain, bro. Yeah, you appreciate it, man. Had gained all the week. I couldn't move. So if you going through something tonight, when you get to the other slide, you can say it was good that I was afflicted. That was the scripture oh. said I was good that I was afflicted. Oh, if any of you all want to know what my shirt said, my shirt says, hate will not make us great. That's sure enough right. I know you probably just see this part and you're like, what does her shirt say? <laughs> Love is going to make us great. Yep. All right, straight from the beginning. Dirty, dirty, dirty show. Holla.